it's still this is still a development Everything of that. Everything has a size and a shape, okay? Which one is the most so appropriate joining technique? And that. So their okay. proportion is like that. Some people put your structure together. Queen's Park Community School in northwest London. A pretty typical inner city comprehensive. Today, some of the pupils are going to be taking part in an unusual experiment. The whole of the design and technology department plans to base its lessons around group work. We've got each teacher working in a slightly different way, um, and, they're, and they're trying to be more reflective themselves, but not only that, get students to be more reflective about the use and uh, effectiveness of, of different ways of working in groups. On to our second drink now. This is, again, an apple, but this is apple plus. Well, it is clear. In food technology, Jane Downs is teaching Year 7 a module on healthy packed lunches. Oh, Try it. Try it. Can I drink all of it? Oh, yes, it's there for you to drink. It's yours. The lesson begins with a sensory evaluation on a scale of 1 to 10 of a range of fruit drinks. Uh, record on your sheet, please. It's it's watery. I like that. I'm going to give that a... <laughs> now we're going to be doing something that is called snowballing. I'm first in snowballing, pupils exchange ideas and opinions in increasingly expanding groups. Mahali, Daniela. With each pupil allocated a number, Jane begins by dividing the class into pairs. You gave Sunny D one out of ten. Are you mad? Latifa and Ollie have to make an initial evaluation on the basis of taste and healthiness. I hated the apple class, the second apple juice. I tried kind of nice. Oh, the tried kind of nice. Why was it not healthy? Colouring and additives. That's how life is sometimes. Mine was just fruit. Yeah, but it had, it had sweeteners. It didn't. Next, the pears grow to fours as the groups are asked to broaden their ranking by considering packaging and practicality. What about yours? Mine's good, look, you see yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah, you see that, yeah. See that, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. This one's the oh, yeah. first. Oh, yeah. What's this? 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 What's Next minute, you're, you're talking about what you're thinking to, to another person and you're listening to what another person's saying and hopefully taking on what they're saying. And then you come together with another pair and, hello, you're, you're listening to what they've thought and they might have thought something different and you're taking on their ideas. And before you know where you are, you're in a group of eight and you're introduced to another task there which brings together all the questions uh, and, and synthesises them into one activity where they're ranking the products but, uh, but applying thoughts and ideas they've had when they've answered questions in different situations and, and formats beforehand. In order of healthiness. Look, it's healthy, but it doesn't taste right. Sunny D is the worst. That, that's not healthy. So, Sunny D's second, third. Organic. Like, I would just go first. Organic? It should, because it's got... Organic on the third. I think that's healthier. Do you like that? Yeah, I need to do that. This, right. These two are fresh to eat oranges. That's the thing. It's a dish. If you're doing sport, yeah, don't don't you don't want there. thick juices because you'll just fry. No, I think that goes, should go there. Yeah. Sunny D should be at the end. Like, yeah, Sunny D at the end. Well, welcome back. What we're going to do is we're going to do something which I've not done much of before in all of my years of teaching. How about that? We're going to do some group work today, but we're going across to the corridor in Year Eight resistant on. materials. Head of Department Aubrey Muchamore is beginning a module to design and make an A6 and paper dispenser. Then we're going to eventually write out a specification. But he wants to start by evaluating the dispensers produced by a previous class. Can you open the packs and distribute the yellow, the red and the blue to the other members? 
but the green person must be the person circled. Based on a series of colour-coded question sheets, each group member leads the evaluation on a particular aspect of the dispenser. How, how well made and finished right. is the product? The thing that you're examining is the thing in front of you. Don't forget, at the start, I've asked you to be constructively critical. Okay. Yeah. Is the shaping attractive? I don't see anything there. Why is that? Oh, uh, the shape of the letters um, are nice. Is, is there any storage place for a pen or pencil? No. The number of people in a group is a very important consideration. Also the composition of that group as well. Is it going to be friendship groups? Are they going to form their own groups or are you going to de design the, the composition of the groups? You might want mixed gender groups, mixed ability groups. But also there's a range of strategies for organising group work and they can't just be picked randomly. What? How well made and finished is the product? It's not very good at all. It's not very well finished, it's got still gaps and it's quite messy. This looks from colours and that bit. Also, there's a gap here where it hasn't been measured properly. Okay, how did you test out whether or not the paper fitted? Or did you not test it? We did. didn't. And what's the answer? Well, we used that. Well, go on then. Is it a fair? It didn't fit. Too wide. Well, Come on, that's A5. Hello, Mummy. Does it fit? Yeah. Is it too loose a fit? Yeah. So would you prefer to be a bit more accurate than that? Yeah. It wasn't measured very well. After the discussion, feedback, starting with Katrina. It's quite messy. It's not very well like produced, not very well presented. Um, it, there should be a place for your pen. It's quite plain. It's unisex. It's unisex. That's an interesting one, unisex. I hadn't thought of that one before. Quite plain. OK. Um, it's not... It's quite... It could be measured so that the, the paper could fit exactly in. The paper didn't fit properly? No. With more time, it could have been done properly, I think. With a bit more time... Isn't that the story of all our lives? With a bit more time, it could have been done properly. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Katrina. I think it was good because you got to hear like what other people thought about it. Because like at the beginning, I I um I liked the how it was quite a fat edged, and then everyone else was like, oh, I don't I don't really like that. I think it's not very good. So it sort of changes the way you think about it. And and like... Year nine are looking at structures. Today, they're trying to build a load-bearing bridge or tower from plastic straws and a small strip of masking tape. Now, you're going to use bits of it to join your structure to make it... Surgeon Vasek is on the graduate teacher training programme. He's hoping that today's group activity will develop pupils' collaboration and communication skills. To put your structure together, to look something like this. Surgeon's been quite conservative with the organisation, sticking with peer groups. But in Josh's case, the exercise is proving successful. Yes, yeah, she look, look how much you used. That was only one bit of tape. Of all I reckon we should make a support thing like this. Make another one. Like this. Like this, so it goes down. Yeah. Join them together. You have to join them together then. With what? Yeah, That's just join them. Join them two together. Good idea. That's but I think it's leaning the wrong way. Well, we're going to put one on that there, though. Ah, no, that little stick. Why would you double everything up like that? Yeah, but we don't have to do one on that side as well. No, I'll just make it look nice. How we ain't got no paint? Use the pencil. No paint. <laughs> I was quite surprised. I wasn't expecting that Josh would work in a group. Usually he works by himself. He always tends to stay away from a group. Especially, he usually sits on a table by himself and he tends just to be on his own. At the same time, he was actually the leader of the group. I reckon we should put people on the top. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 just make a little... Up, just put a few straws going that way. The middle bit is the weakest back. bit. This is the weakest bit we need to. Okay. Oh, please don't break. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> It's a ribbon apart. <laughs> what we're going to do today is to think about designing for other people. And we're going to be doing that together. Because in the real world, 
Designers don't work independently. In the real world, designers do work as a team. In Year 10 Textiles, Sarah Phillips has devised a series of group tasks analysing needs, in this case of the disabled, and existing products. The very first question here is choose one product and describe it. So you don't need to immediately say what it is, you're describing. And maybe through that investigation and looking at describing, you're going to come to what its possible function is. Each group moves from table to table where a different task awaits them. Later, they'll use their findings to design a pair of jeans for someone young, fashion conscious and disabled. The person who had the stroke here, how could they use it like with the two hands? That's what I mean, that's why I said it's not successful. That's what I'm saying. See, no, you can't do it with one sense. hand. Exactly, you can't do it. You can't. No, you no, can't. can't. Put it on. Uh, that's very really useless. Mirrors. You've got mirrors. Exactly, that's what I said. And especially the people who are, we actually the people who are stroke here. So it's going to be hard for them because they, they can only use one hand. So, yeah. Having organised group work is a good way of appropriating what goes on in classrooms every day anyway. Students like to talk and if, they're not, if you're not guiding that talk, they'll talk about what they want to talk about and they'll get on with their work individually and really there's a prioritising going on that their priority is to socially interact. Describing the product? No, we just like describing the product. Because you don't know what the product is. It's quite a challenging task in that they're analysing unfamiliar situations. And I think when, as we want to do, get students more and more involved in, in exploring unfamiliar territory, they need the support of working in teams. They need to explore and test ideas without the teacher being there to say, oh, that's wrong, that's right. It's got a metal thing it's got a that it looks like. In the second part of the lesson, the design team start work, passing round their drawings to be adapted and improved. Tell us about the journey of getting to that final design. We started off with that, um, with that design and then we ended up like um, trousers that look fashionable and they're comfortable and it's got, um, it's got elastic for easy pull and pop buttons to fasten, fasten it when needed and Velcro pockets so that they're easy to access. So what were, you, what were the things that you were considering in the design process? What were you thinking about? Um, how the user would feel, the emotional involvement. Because he, I don't think that whoever was wearing it would like to walk around and that people wouldn't think they were very fashionable. So we tried to create something that they could be happy wearing, but at the same time was practical. Practical. So you want to consider practical as well as emotional needs of the user. OK, excellent. And the verdict. It really formulated their ideas. They actually had to be able to say what it was as opposed to, well, I just like it, or it's the one that I have at home. So they had to express their opinions, but they also had to listen to someone else. Well, they get a chance to work together, to negotiate. And as well, you have seen with especially that group where Josh was working, they had different specific roles. I've been very pleased. Uh, it's not something I'd done before. And uh, I think we actually proved that it, it, it kind of worked. It was hard work um, getting them all going. And I think because I was so pleased with how it was going, I expected more. I just wanted more from them, and, th and that was hard work. But a good thing. <laughs>